Violet's the story of a young girl who is severely disfigured. Uh, she is on a journey to a faith healer to heal her facial scar. Despite how dark the backstory of this musical is, it's still filled with so much hope and love and faith. And I think that's what makes it unique. So it's just been very empowering, I think, to play her and to be able to have to go through her journey every night. Along the way, Violet meets uh, a young African-American soldier. His name is Flick. It's 1964, at the height of the civil rights movement. My grandfather was in the war in 64, and so it's been very fun to be able to communicate with him about what it was like to be a black soldier in 64, the year that this musical was set in, and to really dive into how I can truly portray that character. They come together and see each other for who they really want to be. And so the whole time, Flick is trying to convince Violet that regardless of what she looks like, regardless of what people say about her, she can still be as beautiful as she believes that she can be. Our production team was really on board when I suggested that we do it on a turntable stage. So not only is she on a journey, but the technology of the turntable allows the audience to come along that journey as well. It's been difficult at times to catch my balance and knowing where it's going to move and not falling over, but I've enjoyed it a lot. We want our performances on Byram stage to be a catalyst for positive conversation across campus. And in so doing, we collaborate with many different departments. We did a talk back session after the first show, and it was a real opportunity to unpack challenging issues that were brought forward from our production. It's an opportunity to to work on a larger role, to work on character development, but really to take a lot of the techniques that we're learning in class, even some techniques that we're learning as we're running the show and applying it onto the stage. And Fritz Robertson is our musical director and he's just amazing as well. He's willing enough and flexible enough to help us if we're struggling with a certain part, especially once we start adding the orchestra and all the different pieces, he's very accommodating for that. We get one-on-one -on -one attention with our directors, we get one-on-ones with our music directors, um, choreographers, things like that, and it makes us stronger to go into the professional industry um, as actors. All of our students are all hands on deck and getting great experience in not only performance, but also in the technical elements, sound, lighting, set, costumes. It makes you feel proud. We've had all this work put into the set behind me and it just gives you that extra push of, oh, I love this show, I love this place, I love these people that I get to work with. It's a powerful piece. It is the right cast at the right time, the right show at the right time. I remember I couldn't wait to come to college because I wanted to be surrounded by people who loved it as much as I did. The passion is just emanating from every person that's involved in this show and it's contagious.